Good morning children and welcome back to our English class. Children today we would be reading the last portion of our unit 5 section 2 the time machine. So now come to page number 187 of your textbook. It sounds plausible enough tonight said the medical man. But wait until tomorrow. Wait for the common sense of the morning. Would you like to see the time machine itself? asked the time traveler and therewith taking the lamp in his hand he led the way down the long draughty corridor to his laboratory i remember vividly the flickering light his queer broad head in slot the dance of the shadows how we all followed him puzzled but incredulous and how there in the laboratory we beheld a larger edition of the little mechanism which we had seen vanish from before our eyes parts were of nickel parts of ivory parts had certainly been filed or sawn out of rock crystal the thing was generally complete but the twisted crystalline bars lay unfinished upon the bench beside some sheets of drawings and i took one up for a better look at it quartz it seemed to be did you really build this yourself the psychologist demanded the time traveler pointed i did here this saddle like thing is where the time traveler will sit when he sets out on his journey through time look here said the medical man are you perfectly serious or is this a trick like that ghost you showed us last christmas yes said philby don't tell us that you actually intend to use this fantastic machine so children the time traveler assured the guest that he has invented the time machine in real and asked them whether they would like to see it saying so he took them down the long windy corridor towards his laboratory The wind was making the light flicker and their shadows danced. He then took them with their puzzled disbelieving faces into his laboratory where a larger edition of the little mechanism that is the time machine was kept. It was made part of nickel, ivory and rock crystal. The machine was yet to get its finishing touches. The guest disbelievingly asked him whether he had really built it himself to which the time traveler pointed out yes and indicated to the saddle like thing where the time traveler will sit and set out on his journey through time the medical man was unsure whether this was an actual time machine or just a trick played by the time traveler as he played a prank on them last christmas children now come to page number 188 indeed said the time traveler holding the lamp aloft upon that very machine i intend to explore time is that plain i was never more serious in my life none of us quite knew how to take it I caught Philby's eye over the shoulder of the medical man and he winked at me solemnly. Children, the time traveler assured everyone that it was a real time machine that he invented and also intended to use to explore time. None of them were quite sure to accept his statement. The author caught Philby's eye over the shoulder of the medical man as he winked at the author. All right children so here we have finished the section to the time machine. I would be meeting you with my next video. So till then take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.